Hello people, now you've done your first stage, the Largo stage completion. Get onto the Adagio stage completion and <laughs> you're going to develop because today, get ready. The irony, lip buzzing for range extension when I was taught. Groove, instant tight, instant push. That's how to play. This whole course is based on what I've learned, the frustrations that I've had, and my love of sharing and helping people. I get more joy seeing someone get results, whether they're a beginner or a pro who goes, bing, I've got it. I played Maiden Voyage with Herbie Hancock with an orchestra here in Brisbane. I've traveled the world playing. I, 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 it's not about what I've done as a player. I love helping people. And if you want to save yourself years of practice, listen to what I'm going to say. It's time to call out the <laughs> about range development. A lot of it's being perpetuated by people with self-interest. Well, not a lot of it, some of it. And a lot of it just comes from misconception, not understanding the system, traditional approaches. It's easy to tell someone to go, <clears throat> then get a mouthpiece and buzz it, and then a lead pipe, and then a trumpet, or not even a lead pipe. Buzz lips, <clears throat> mouthpiece, trumpet, play. And from day one, <clears throat> but you don't notice that it's bad because that's the way to play brass instruments. And I'm totally calling it out today, and I'm gonna to lose a lot of friends. I don't care. It's not about me uh, making friends and, and going, yes, that's the way that we do it. No, that's not gonna be helpful for someone who's having trouble or who wants to develop it. The irony, that people are learning now that have learned one way and crashed, mostly the pros that I'm teaching, and then we dig it, and I was one of them, and dig it around and retrain, rethink about it to find the results that we want. So we're, we're anti-learning at the start, and then we get, a, uh, get to a stage where it's not working for me, and it's too hard, and we need to rethink about it. Why don't we just think about it from the start? Eventually people are going to recognise what's going on here. Why is... <sighs> Good for range development. If you don't know the answer to that, you haven't done the first five days. Or you haven't quite got the concept of it. So go back and do it again. Now, if you need more time, let me know. I'll just change your membership and you can stay for as long as you want. I don't care. I want you to get this. What's the big problem with range? Lips pinching down, clamping, too much blow. And of course, the way we think about it. <clears throat> we can fix all of those. And ironically, is the way that we're going to start developing uh, your range. Why? Because to get... Check it out. There's, this is passive, so I've taken a breath in and I'm relaxing. There's nothing going on, but what we've developed here is the corner firmness. Ah, uh, ooh. Now, is it exactly? Doesn't matter. You get the point. Aperture corners, horizontal movement inwards of the musculature. And to get it to vibrate, a lot of you will not be able to do that because... You've never done it. And two, it doesn't matter because your psychology is, oh, to play high, you've got to and blow faster. It's nonsense. Blow faster to play higher. I don't care who says it. I don't care how many times they say it. That has to end. It does not matter what you do with the body. That does not determine pitch. And you need to go through the course and see why. And it's demonstrated in as many ways as I can possibly explain. This video is not about that. 
you need to understand that pitch comes from shape, the head bit. It's as simple as that. Then if you want to play louder or longer, then the body must become involved. Now, with that in mind, go back and do the singing CD uh, lesson again. It gets real complex by the time we get to the end of the, uh, the course. Now, again, I'm just going to keep saying it and saying it. I don't care if you disagree with me. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Eventually, if you are having issues, you're going to have to rethink and you'll go, oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Mm, huh. I recognize all of that nonsense that's back in the system. And when we leave the ego at the door and go, oh, I'll just try that, all of a sudden you might think about it in a different way. This controls the air coming from the body and activating the air in the pipe, one air column oscillating, the lips freely uh, on top of that until you get up higher above the stage, the stave, sort of high C, high D. It's all at the course, and there's another video on the channel here that discusses that. So, work on. Walk around. And your brain might be going, yeah, but how on earth is that uh, improving my range? Well, relax body, passive movement of air, aperture corners engaging. Loose lips. That's what you need to do when you're playing in the upper register. And if all of a sudden at any stage when you start developing your range, you notice that body's concert hall turns into that, which is the big thing, push and pinch so you, you feel the backup. You'll feel the tightness. If you shut your eyes, take a nice breath, relax. Mm, you can play like that. And <laughs> you don't have to believe me, I, 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 you know, because I want to sit here and, and spend all this time doing all these videos because it's nonsense. No, no, no. Try it, okay? If you really want to make changes to your playing and you want to develop a range that you've never had, you want to get over the barriers that you've got, break through the ceilings, get rid of frustration play easily, there are people around that do it, and I've developed it, so I'm a bit of an example. Yep, I was playing professionally, but I was killing myself. I remember being on TV gigs, sitting in theatre pits, doing big Latin gigs or whatever, going, I'm killing myself and I hate it. Now, I play way easier than I've ever played. Right, And I'm gigging less. I've moved up here to spend time on the course. I'm not interested in the gigs that I've done. I'm not interested in going out and proving what I can play like or what I can't play like. There's always better players out there. There's amazing players. That's not what I was put on this earth to do. I can help you save a lot of years and uh, enjoy your playing a bit more and break through a barrier. And it's up to you whether you are ready for that yet. You'll be ready one day. And this is my big thing, again, back to the irony of people sort of learning the bad way and then learning the right way 20 years later. There are, and I'm doing a video very shortly on the school band marching, uh, marching bands, especially in the States. It kills me. It kills them. Uh, we're not uh, really looking after the best interest of our students. Um, is the fact that the people that are engaging in this is generally 35 plus semi-pro to pro, we've got to get the, the beginners doing it. If you've got friends, share this with them. Young kids, dudes that are smashing themselves in marching band and, 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 and the school band system where they're just being forced to play stuff that they're not ready for. Share this with them. Get them to do the free thing. I'll set them up for life for the free uh, Lago Stata stage, right? Because there's enough in this week if you haven't got the concepts of it, go back and do it again. All of the problems up there that people eventually have to varying degrees stem from what's going wrong back in the first five days there. It's all there if, you, if, you're, gonna, if you're smart enough to look deeply into it. You will find uh, 
answers. I know there are people sitting here watching this that are like, you are full of it. I don't care. I know. There are, you'll never try what I'm saying and you'll completely disagree. And that's okay. You don't have to. And especially if you're playing great and you're happy with your playing, you're lucky. You're one of the lucky ones, but not everyone's as lucky as you. But if you're a teacher, I would implore you to learn this stuff so when the old lip buzz, mouthpiece buzz, trumpet doesn't work for a student, you see them having all kinds of trouble, puffing cheeks, closing in the throat, sounding like a beginner, don't let them sound like a beginner. Encourage them to sound professional. Kids can make amazing sounds if they, if they uh, know what they're doing. But the psychology, and innately, is blow faster. It's hard work. We've got to stop it. We've got to stop it. And uh, so now's the time. I can ramble about this for hours. I won't. Go through, check out day six. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And that's the end of your trial. I really hope you're enjoying the course and getting something from it. And I'll go. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Or not. <laughs>